I got offered a fight with a fellow by the name of Anywhere Yuligiati, um, who was number 14 with the WBA. Um, he signed to Top Rank, which is the biggest promotional company in the world in China. And um, he was meant to come over here and just, just destroy me, going to take everything away from me. But I wanted to be tested. So this was another, another risk I took. So I didn't have to fight this guy, but I fought this guy. And I'd sacrificed so much, and I got in the world ratings, and we're taking these risks. But in that fight, I sustained an injury. I, I destroyed my, my neural foramen on my um, C6 vertebrae. So my, I got hit on top of the head. My C6 and C7 smashed together. It ruptured my um, C6-7 disc and put it halfway through my spinal cord. So that was a that was a career-ending injury. That should have finished me then in uh, August of 2017. Um, and that was another another moment where I sort of was looking at myself like, what am I doing? I've made no money. I've taken these crazy risks. I sold my business. We got rid of our house to fund our fund my career. And um, that was a real lonely moment. I I just broken the I just broken the back of my C6 vertebrae, ruptured the disc. I had a major surgery. Um, I was on the shelf for some time. Um, and that was that was hard to get back up from. What kind of punch breaks your back? Like, how did that, how did, talk me through like what, what happened? Do you remember what happened? So I, I do remember it quite well. Um, so what happened was is monstrous puncher. It was a big overhand right. And I already had, um, I already had a bulging C67 disc, so I was pushing on the nerve core already. So I had pins and needles and a little bit of numbness in the arm. But going into the fight, because of the way the disc was traveling, I was told it was going back into the left. I was told it couldn't come back, back in this way. And it was just the perfect storm. Um, I've seen the right hand coming. Just the way my neck was flexed back like that, because I'm looking, looking up and trying to go under it like that. So my neck was flexed back like that and, and to the side. And um, just this monstrous overhand come down, caught me on top of the head. And it's what I would imagine, not that I've ever done this or would suggest anyone try, but it's what I imagine sticking a knife in a toaster would feel like just bang, the electric shock when he hit me. And just the, the, the silence that come over the place, because I was the main event that night. And just, ooh, my legs just completely went, I was gone. Ooh, and I swear to God, I reckon probably three quarters of the place, my mates all ordered their Ubers because they thought the night was over. <laughs> like, we've been off more than you could chew this time, Jade. But um, yeah, so hit me with that. And I come back after the first round, my head had cleared, my timing fell off on my, on my left hand. And um, I've thrown a million hooks, jabs, uppercuts, rips. I've, I've, for years, I've done this since I was a child. I just couldn't get my timing going. Second round, come back. Can't get my timing going, Dad. Can't get my timing going. And he said, what do you want me to do about it, mate? You better get it going, because Yuli Jiad, he's, he's on your ass, mate. You've got you to get it going. So it wasn't that my timing was out. I had paralysis in my left arm. So um, I fought through that. And look, I, um, I don't know. If I had have actually known the extent of the, of the injury and the damage that I'd done then, I don't know what my decision would have been. But... At the time, because I, I had, I'd given up my business, I'd given up my house, I, I'd rolled the dice, and this is the risk that I took myself, and I knew what I was getting myself into. I just had to fight the guy, and I had to beat the guy. I think I dropped two rounds in that fight, and um, overcoming it wasn't until someone passed me a um, someone passed me a bottle after the after the fight, and I was I didn't have the motor skills to even it just my arm, my hand just wouldn't work. Something as simple as scratching your face, I just couldn't couldn't put the wires together to make it happen. I knew that I was in trouble then, and went and saw um, my doctor, Dr. Lewis, uh, down there in Malvern, and um, yeah, I was in for surgery only a few days later.